Welcome back to the World Economic Forum here in Davos, Switzerland, where delegates and hundreds of journalists have gathered for their first full day of meetings. And topping that agenda is Japanese Prime Minister Shinzo Abe. He addressed the delegates, saying that the recovery will continue. Three arrows. The first is about monetary policy. The second is about flexible, flexible fiscal policy. And the third arrow will continue sparking private investment. Japan economy is just about to break free from chronic deflation. This spring, wages will increase. Higher wages, long overdue, will lead to greater consumption. Our fiscal situation has also made steady improvement. Shortly before Abe addressed the forum, South Korea's president as well spoke to delegates saying that they would focus on innovation to spark the economy. We must make growth sustainable. We must make growth inclusive. But piecemeal fixes will not do. Macroeconomic policies or labor policies under existing paradigm alone will not do. What we need is nothing short of a paradigm shift. On the sidelines of the official events, where so often conversations happened, Prime Minister Abe of Japan expressed interest in perhaps meeting with President Park of South Korea. Keep in mind it's significant because the two haven't spoken since last February. Now there's also other developments as well, this time from China. Premier Li has written a letter regarding the World Economic Forum expressing what China thinks are important goals and issues to tackle for 2014 and beyond.